So today I will be reviewing another Lucy Cavendish Oracle deck. This is the Oracle of the Mer Mermaids. And pretty much anything by Lucy Cavendish, I will support, I will collect, I will buy because I just really love the information she gives in her books. They're so in depth. It's not just the art and it's not just, you know, the cardstock. With Lucy Cavendish, there's real depth to the information that she gives. Like, so here we have the healing powers of the merfolk, mermaid history. Mermaids and sensuality. And then we have the symbols of the mermaid. And she gives a little information about the symbols, kinds of mermaids, why we must connect with water, oceans and salt water people, mermaids and moon cycles, why are mermaids sometimes mistrusted, how to connect with the mermaids, signs the mermaids are with you when you work with this deck, and then just like the other time, there's some spreads in here and this one instead of, I forgot what it was called in the fairy, but this one, the three card spread is called the triple mirror spread. And then we have the cycles of the moon spread, the mermaid Celtic cross spread. Okay, so this is interesting. Instead of just having one card and then what's crossing it we have two cards like crossing it that's interesting that's cool so it's a little different than the traditional celtic cross and then of course we have the card meanings again so it says the mermaids sing and then reversed and divination. And then we have about the author, Lucy Cavendish, and about the artist. The backs of these cards are beautiful. Now, um, unfortunately, these cards are a little like thicker and even though they're glossy, they do kind of stick together. But you know what? Since they're Oracle, I kind of let that slide. <laughs>
So these cards shuffle like a little bit better than the Fairy Oracle. They're not quite as sticky as the Fairy Oracle, which is nice. But they're still a little bit like slightly too big. But for Oracle, because I usually only pull one card, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really do spreads with oracles, so. You can see like how sticky they are. So we have the keywords here and they match up with the keywords on the card, which is nice. And then it says the Mer world has many beings and one of our most secretive and elusive is and are the powerful Melusininas. I don't know what, how to say that. So that's cool, that gives the legend of this, which I would say that's the mermaid that's on the uh, Starbucks, the Starbucks logo, which is cool, I've never heard of this. They are part woman, part dragon, and part mer, as well as part fey. Wow, that's pretty cool, I didn't know about that. And then you have the reverse meaning, which we didn't do, and then the divinatory. So this card is all about boundaries. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this flip through of the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish.